Online game, I possess a monster merging simulator. Chapter 11, Challenge the Monsters Stone Skin Poison Toad Quality, Elite Level, 1 HP, 500-500 Magic Attack, 30-50 Physical Attack, 25-37 Defense, 28 Superiority, 83% Skill, Stone Skin resists 10% of physical damage. Skill, Spew Poison, after receiving an attack, the Stone Skin Poison Toad will spew poison on the surrounding targets, causing 40% magic damage and additional poisoning effect. Reduces the target's health by 3 points per second. Duration, 10 seconds. Seeing the attributes, Lorne was pleasantly surprised. He did not expect that the monster he created this time would have 83% superiority. Among the possibilities, this was likely a lucky attempt. Of course, from the interface data, this monster's attack attributes were even lower than the two-headed demon hound. But that was not the point. Most importantly, the stone skin poison toad had 28 points of defense. With such a high defense, it could survive the attacks of the stone beetles with the treatment of the vitality slime. In addition, the spew poison skill was also very important. An AoE skill was a powerful weapon that could effectively kill stone beetles. But then again, the stone skin poison toad was too ugly. Moreover, its combat ability was limited. Other than being able to effectively restrain the stone beetles, it had no advantage against other opponents. Therefore, Lorne only treated it as a temporary helper. After completing this mission, he would still choose to give up on this ugly guy. Let's go, Poison Toad. Let's go compete with those strange rocks. Lorne said as he led his new pet away from the forest. In order to contract this pet, he had removed the contract with the three-headed demon hound. The dog that made him waste 240 bronze coins had finally used labor to redeem its damned life. Soon, Lorne returned to the rock valley. This time, he came with absolute confidence. Gather the stone beetles. Lorne commanded the two-headed demon hound to draw the surrounding stone beetles together. As an agility-type monster, the two-headed demon hound had high movement speed and could easily dodge the attacks of the stone beetles. Go on you ugly little guy. It's time for your performance. Seeing that the stone beetles had gathered, Lorne immediately retreated with the two-headed demon hound, leaving the main battlefield to the stone skin poison toad. However, the stone skin toad could not win against five stone beetles alone. It needed the two-headed demon hound to take a share of the attacks at the critical moment and the vitality slime to recover its health. As for Lorne, he was a magic damage dealer and could help out a little. On the battlefield, the stone skin poison toad lay there without any movement, but one could see that the rocks were all pressed together on its body, making it look like a carved stone. Its strategy was very clear, it would defend on the spot. Creak. Creak. Provoked, the stone beetles moved their limbs, emitting the sound of rocks colliding. Finally, they reached the stone skin poison toad and surrounded it, their entire body shrinking back before suddenly pushing forward. Collision, the stone beetle's attacking method. This scene looked clumsy, but the attacks were unbearable for most players. Minus 3. Minus 5. Minus 5. Minus 3. Minus 1. The five monsters only dealt 17 damage to the stone skin poison toad. This was because the stone skin poison toad had the stone skin skill, and it could resist 10% physical damage. Coupled with its 28 points of defense, all the attacks of the stone beetles could not break through its defense. Moreover, due to the attack, the stone skin poison toad used spew poison. The fragment behind it cracked open, and dark green poison splattered on the surrounding stone beetles. Minus 15. Minus 15. Minus 15. Minus 3, poison. A series of damage numbers appeared. As a monster with high physical defense, the magic resistance of the stone beetles was almost zero. 
facing the non-lethal poison, they lost a lot of health points. Especially the subsequent poisoning effect, it would take away three health points from the stone beetles every second. The poisoned stone beetles immediately went crazy, attacking the stone skin poison toad fiercely. The damage they dealt per round of attack was 17 points. Within 30 rounds, the toad would be killed. However, they had no hope of doing this. This was because when the stone skin poison toad's health decreased by 100 points, the vitality slime next to it would immediately spit out a pool of mucus and heal 60 health points directly, while also adding a continuous recovery effect. In this way, the stone skin poison toad could always maintain a safe amount of health. Of course, the health of the stone beetles decreased very slowly. After a minute, they only lost a quarter of their health points. Fortunately, this was group damage. With five stone beetles injured at the same time, the overall efficiency of killing monsters was quite good. About four minutes later, the health points of the stone beetles was finally emptied. Under the power of the poison, the stone beetles crumbled, becoming a few huge rocks and completely losing their lives. Ding! Congratulations to your pet stone skin poison toad, unnamed, for successfully killing a stone beetle. You have received 10, plus 18, experience points. Ding! Ding! After killing the monster, he gained 28 experience points. After killing 5, he gained 140 experience points. According to his current efficiency, he only needed 10 minutes to raise his level to level 7. But strangely, he had just killed 5 monsters, but none of them dropped any body parts. Are there no materials in them? Lorne could not help but think of this. For him, who had the monster merging simulator, the body part material that the monster dropped was completely different from the ordinary rocks on the ground. If he wanted to create a powerful monster, he had to use the body parts he obtained from other monsters. Otherwise, the improvement would be limited. For example, the stone skin toad that had fused with ordinary rocks only received 10% physical damage immunity. While the stone beetle's rock body had 50% physical damage immunity. The difference between the two was obvious. Lorne also valued this super defensive trait. Unfortunately, no matter how hard he searched, he could not find what he wanted. Even if he smashed the rock, he could not find anything. As he thought, a new battle began. In less than five minutes, five more stone beetles shattered. As he went to clean up the loot, suddenly, the system notification sounded. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the material, Rock Fragment. Chapter 12, An Extremely Difficult Level Up Mechanism Lorne took out a rock fragment that glowed dull yellow from his pouch. This was a body part material, very different from ordinary rocks. The stone skin poison toad beside him jumped in front of Lorne. Its dark green eyes landed on the rock fragment, as if it knew that it was a good thing. Lorne shook his head and smiled. Don't look at how naive this fellow was. At this moment, it was really smart. It actually took the initiative to run up and ask for a reward. But Lorne did not agree, for the fragment was too rare. When he created the stone skin poison toad, he had used five rocks to give it the stone skin skill. If he wanted to increase its defense again, he had to accumulate at least five rock fragments. Otherwise, there was not much meaning in fusing them. There was also the fear that the merging would cause its spew poison to be replaced. Without it, the toad would lose its value. Therefore, he did not want to test such a pointless attempt. Let's get to work first. After completing the mission, I will reward you. With a wave of his hand, he led the group deeper into the valley. In the following period of time, with his pets, Lorne repeated his strategy. The two-headed demon hound was responsible for attracting the monsters to gather, the stone skin poison toad was responsible for the main battle, and the vitality slime was responsible for providing continuous healing. As for himself, because he was a summoner and did not have any intelligence, his damage output was too low. 
therefore, he became a useless onlooker in the entire battle. Fortunately, the stone skin poison toad's farming efficiency was quite good. It could kill five stone beetles in about five minutes, gaining 140 EXP. The other gains were also very generous. Despite a lack of materials, a stone beetle would drop 12 bronze coins, which was a considerable amount. In addition, stone beetles had a higher equipment drop rate than other pets. This might be because the stone beetles were too hard to kill. When ordinary teams encountered such monsters, they would basically avoid them. After all, the magic damage dealt by players was low and the cooldown was long. It would take too long to kill a stone beetle. Ding! Congratulations on reaching level 8. Congratulations on reaching level 9. Congratulations on reaching level 10. Warning! As you are a summoner, your level has been locked. Please raise your pets to level 10 and enter the main city to complete your class advancement. In the three hours of fighting, three golden lights fell on Lorne. His level had reached 10. This was the highest level that one could achieve in the beginner village. If he wanted to continue leveling up, he had to go to the main city of the game and find a professional mentor to change his class. After changing his class, he could obtain experience points again. There was still a gap between the summoner class and other classes. After the summoner reached level 10, they had to increase their pets' levels. Otherwise, the player's level could not be unlocked. He knew that rule. However, the demand for pets to level up was too high, making him feel a little depressed. In the Divine Realm, pets also needed experience points to level up, and the requirement for level up was higher than players. This was especially so for high-quality pets. Take the three pets of Lorne as an example. Vitality Slime, Elite, Two-Headed Demon Hound, Elite, Stone Skin Poison Toad, Elite. All three pets were of elite quality. However, due to their different strengths, the EXP requirement was also different. Among them, Vitality Slime required twice the experience of Lorne. Two-Headed Demon Hound required four times the experience of Lorne. Stone Skin Poison Toad required thrice the experience of Lorne. For a player, level 1 level 2 required 100 experience points. Then, in their case, it was, 200, 400 and 300 experience points respectively. It was a huge problem that could not be solved easily. Just looking at the experience data in front of him made him feel despair. However, many people still chose the summoner, simply because the future belonged to them. After all, the attributes of pets were higher than players. Moreover, they had more skills and a larger attack range. Although they needed to level up several times more than the players, based on their combat strength, one would realize that their strength would also be several times that of the players. Most importantly, a summoner could also carry many pets. Once in the later stages of the game, the quality of the summoner's pet would increase, and the ability of the summoner players to suppress other professions would increase significantly. Then, which pet should I raise first? Looking at the three pets fighting, Lorne fell into deep thought. Firstly, the stone skin poison toad was not suitable for leveling up. It was designed to target the stone beetles. In the Rock Valley, it was more useful than any pet. However, against other monsters, the two-headed demon hound's farming efficiency was clearly much higher than it. Secondly, the vitality slime was not very suitable too. Its quality was too low. Even if he raised its level, the attribute growth would not be very high. Of course, low quality meant that the need to level up was small and could quickly increase its level. Unfortunately, that was not what he sought. What he wanted was enough combat strength. Neither the stone skin poison toad nor the vitality slime could achieve this. Even the two-headed demon hound was barely passable. After all, it was a monster formed from a level 3 demonized wild dog. Its attributes were limited. There was no way for it to deal with battles involving level 10 and higher. It looks like I need to change a batch of pets as soon as possible. 
it'd be best if it's a level 10 high quality monster. Lorne had already figured out the rules of the monster merging simulator. Under normal circumstances, the higher the level of the prototype monster and the body part material, the stronger the monster would be. This was an iron rule. However, he did not have a good direction now. In order to choose which monster to merge, he had to explore a higher level map and obtain the final conclusion after encountering the monster. But now, he had to return to the village first and take what the missionary had called a difficult task. But as he prepared to leave, suddenly, a grand system notification sounded in the sky. Ding! Beginner Village Notification Due to the appearance of the first level 10 player in Beginner Village number 2451, the boss Slime King has arrived. All players from Beginner Village number 2451, please head to the entrance of the village to assist in guarding against it. Beginner Village Notification All players from Beginner Village number 2451 will automatically receive the limited time mission protecting the village. Mission Success all players in this beginner village will receive a large amount of rewards. Mission Failure All players in the beginner village will lose one level of experience and receive a debuff of minus 50% EXP gain. Duration, 6 hours. Chapter 13, The Powerful Bullheaded Monster Boss Fight When Lorne who was preparing to leave saw the banner in the sky, he was also shocked. He did not expect that such a huge thing would happen after he reached level 10. The announcement disrupted his plan. He could not return to the village to submit his mission now. That was because he would have to face a boss level monster when he returned. But the pets behind him were not strong enough to stand against it. Furthermore, that was the first boss in the entire beginner village. The other large guilds would definitely be watching. Under such circumstances, it was too difficult to obtain the first kill. I have to create a batch of stronger pets. Lorne rushed into the depths of the forest. There was a higher level map in that direction. As for the mission failure against the boss, he did not need to worry too much. After all, it was an event boss in the beginner village. It was extremely rare and every beginner village only had one. If players wanted to kill it, they would probably need hundreds or thousands of people working together. It was not too late to snatch the kill at the last moment. During this period of time, Lorne had to find pets he was satisfied with. If the conditions allowed, it was best to raise the pets level as well. With that in mind, Lorne did not pause. He led his pet deeper into the forest. In the process of moving forward, Lorne opened the internal browser of the Divine Realm. There was a dedicated live stream room inside that could check on the actual situation at the village entrance. Number 2451 Beginner Village, Silver Snow Guild challenges the Slime King. He found the relevant live stream and clicked on it. That can't be. There is already a level 10 player in Beginner Village No 2451. How is that possible? The strongest player in our village is only level 6. How lucky! Beginner Village number 2451 is the first to fight this boss. This is the chance to become famous. If we get the first kill of the boss, we'll be rich. Don't think too much. This kind of boss is the target of large guilds. Unaffiliated players can't even touch it. The live stream was very lively. Countless players in the beginner village were watching this battle. Looking at the live stream, the first thing that caught his eye was a gargantuan slime. It glowed a deep blue and had a strange crown on its head, as if an enraged king sought to conquer the backward village. The slime king looked very weak, but its performance in battle shocked everyone present. It only used three attacks to kill the strongest guard in the village. Then, it began to slaughter the villagers. The players who cooperated with the NPCs did not dare to get close because this boss only needed one skill to kill a large number of players. The one who provided this vision was a member of the Silver Snow Guild. It was a special guild composed entirely of female players. In front of this camp, Lorne saw a slim figure. 
she wore white armor and held a silver sword in her hand. She weaved through the monster's attacks and counterattacked at the right time. He did not expect a female player to be so powerful. Lorna's eyes brightened, but that was all. He would not give up his goal just because his opponent was beautiful. On the contrary, if her beauty hindered him, he would destroy the beauty mercilessly. I hope that doesn't happen. After all, I want to be kind-hearted too. Looking at the live stream, Lorne walked deeper into the forest. The simple straw sandals stepped on the moist ground. A cold feeling passed through the sole of his feet, causing him to shiver. In this moist region, there were many high-level creatures. Lorne did not let any of them go. He sent his pets after the creatures, then took some of their body parts. Ten minutes later. Twenty minutes later. Thirty minutes later. Time passed very quickly. As he hunted in the forest, the number of monsters he killed was already uncountable. Unfortunately, he still did not find a suitable pet. Fortunately, he obtained a huge amount of experience points. This trip was not in vain. However, he did not recklessly use the experience points. He wanted to save them for the next pet. Only by letting this powerful pet reach a sufficiently high level would it have a chance to help Lorne snatch the boss from the hands of countless players. Just as he was about to cross the hill, he suddenly stopped. There seemed to be something in the forest ahead. That was a... Bull? Lorne did not see the figure clearly. In the dark forest, he only saw a huge bull's horn. However, with its size and aura, it was obvious that it was not a low-level monster. Lorne raced after it, pausing just long enough to survey the monstrous form. It was indeed a bull. At this moment, it was wandering in the forest. However, it was obvious that it was not an ordinary bull, but a minotaur. After being infected by a special power, its entire body was greatly enhanced. The demonized ox-headed figure gained an even more magnificent body. On its arms, extremely strong muscles could be seen. Thick beast fur covered its entire body. There were also sinister fangs and scarlet eyes. No matter how one looked at it, they would feel the savage power of the demonized figure attacking them. This monster was simply too powerful. It caught Lorne's eye immediately. Little fellows, let's get to work. Lorne commanded as he chose to attack. The pets quickly surrounded the enemy. After leaving Rock Valley, the two-headed demon hound became the main attacker again. Its double bite could cause huge damage to the target. Bite. Bite. The two-headed demon hound's teeth sank into its target. Minus 33. Minus 35. Two numbers showing successful hits flew out. However, such an attack did not hurt the Minotaur at all. Instead, it seemed to be provoked and became even more violent. The Minotaur let out a roar as its huge bone club struck the two-headed demon hound with extremely violent force. Crack. The sound of bones cracking could be heard. The two-headed demon hound was also sent flying more than 10 meters away. Minus 95. The terrifying damage floating in the sky nearly reached three digits. This was terrifying. But it was normal. After all, it was a high-level monster and looked so special. It was obvious that it was not easy to deal with. Looking at everything, the corners of Lorne's mouth curled up, and he casually opened the monster's attributes panel. Chapter 14, Merge Giant Axe Minotaur Minotaur Quality, Normal. Level, 10. HP, 1300-1300. Physical Attack, 80 to 100. Defense, 31. Skill, Power, Increases Attack by 25 points. Skill, Charge, Charge in one direction. After hitting the first target, stop moving. Causes 1 second stun and deals 140% damage to the target. Introduction, the bull-headed figures wandering in the forest have become stronger and more violent after being corroded by the demonic energy. What powerful attributes! 
no wonder it could deal such high damage to the two-headed demon hound. Its health had already reached 1,300 points, and its attack power was even more terrifying. With the upper limit of 100 attack points and the additional 25 attack points from the skill, one club could directly deal more than 100 points of damage. It was very terrifying. If I had such a pet by my side, no one in the beginner village would be able to stop me. Very good. Little fellows, attack in turns. This time, Lorne joined the fray. His magic attacks would have some effect on the Minotaur, but more importantly, he had to constantly give commands to his pets, otherwise he would lose this fight. The best solution now was to encircle it. Using the two-headed demon hound's agility and speed to slow the enemy's movements, the stone skin poison toad was responsible for dealing damage and interfering with the minotaur's movements. As long as they cooperated well enough, he believed that they could easily win the battle. Double bite. Spew poison. Magic bullet. A few skills hit the minotaur, but the damage was less than 70. To kill this minotaur with 1300 HP, he had to fight extremely carefully for several minutes. Fortunately, the health points of the pets were quite good. Two-headed demon hound had 600, stone skin poison toad had 500, Lorne had 550, and the vitality slime had 300. The total health of the team had already surpassed that of their opponents. Moreover, the vitality slime could still heal them, so there was no need to worry. Roar. A huge bone club swung back and forth, but it could not deal fatal damage to Lorne and his pets. Under the healing of the Vitality Slime, it could basically maintain its health above 70%. Instead, under Lorne's command, the Minotaur's health plummeted. In less than two minutes, the Minotaur's health bar had fallen to 10%. At this moment, Lorne began to control the rhythm of his attacks, preventing the monster from accidentally dying. Soon, the Minotaur's health dropped below 5%. Lorne immediately used the system. Ding! Monster Minotaur has been confirmed as the prototype material. Please confirm other materials. Synthesize with what? He had prepared for that already. He took out a battle axe from his bag. He threw it into the template. Ding! A monster prototype and material have been identified. The synthesis formula is, Minotaur, plus, Crude Battle Axe, equals. The cost is 500 bronze coins. Would you like to merge? The fees increased again. 500 bronze coins was definitely not a small amount. But Lorne was glad to see the figure, for the higher the cost, the better the result. Therefore, without any hesitation. Merge. As soon as he finished speaking, 500 bronze coins disappeared from his bag. But at the same time, an even more intricate magic circle appeared. The crude axe did not fly directly into the minotaur's hand, but instead turned into a familiar light that infused into its body. The minotaur's appearance changed slightly in the light, and the bone club in its hand gradually transformed into a battle axe. Ding! Merging successful! Congratulations on obtaining the Elite Monster Giant Axe Minotaur. Giant Axe Minotaur, contract possible. Quality, Elite. Level, 1, 0 slash 500. HP, 800 slash 800. Physical Attack, 50 to 70. Defense, 20. Superiority, 80%. Skill, Powerful Battle Axe. Increases attack power by 40 points and unleashes a heavy slash on the target with 150% damage. Skill, Charge, Charge in one direction. After hitting the first target, stop moving. Causes one second stun and deals 150% damage to the target. Introduction, A giant axe minotaur that has mutated from a minotaur. The sharp battle axe has given it even more terrifying power. Do not provoke it, or you will be chopped into mincemeat. These attributes were too powerful. It had 70 physical attack at level 1. What would happen if it was raised to level 10? 
Looking at the panel in front of him, even Lorne was shocked speechless. He could not imagine that a level 1 elite monster could actually have such an incredible interface data. Health points, 800, attack limit, 70, and even defense, 20. But that was not all. The most terrifying thing was the giant axe minotaur's powerful battle axe skill. It increased attack by 40 points and dealt 150% damage. Which monster of the same level could withstand such a terrifying outburst? Let's first sign a contract. All the creatures that he had created could be directly contracted. However, he only had three slots. He had to give up one pet and assign the spot to the giant axe minotaur. There was nothing to think about. The stone skin poison toad could be sent back to nature in advance. It was not that it was useless, but it was too ugly. Shaking his head, Lorne let it go. At the same time, he fulfilled his previous promise and used the rock fragments to evolve the stone skin poison toad. In the end, its attributes improved slightly, but no new skill appeared. After sending the toad away, Lorne looked at his new pet. The level 1 giant axe minotaur was not very big. It was only 1.5 meters in height, and looked very short. Moreover, it seemed to be a little slow-witted. At this moment, it was looking at Lorne with its large eyes, and the ferocity from before was nowhere to be seen. Looking at the beast skin armor on its body, although the thick and long beast fur was retracted, the savage aura was still revealed from the two-meter-long battle axe and the majestic muscles. Let me see how much you'll change after you level up. Lorne nodded, then began distributing the experience points. The experience needed to level up an elite monster was very high, especially the giant axe minotaur. It was five times more than that of himself. Just advancing from level 1 to level 2 required 500 experience points. It was simply a bottomless abyss. However, when the golden light landed on it and he saw the change in its attributes, Lorne immediately felt that the 500 experience points spent was worth it. Chapter 15 Rushing back to the village, fighting the boss. Ding! You used 500 experience points to raise your pet giant axe minotaur to level 2. Health, 1000 slash 1000, 200. Attack, 62 to 88, 1218. Defense, 25, 5. After leveling up, the statistics of the increase appeared on his interface. Seeing this scene, Lorne froze on the spot. He even suspected that he had seen wrongly. It was only a level increase, but its attributes had increased so much. Just its health points had increased by 200 points. How was this possible? To be honest, as the master, Lorne was jealous. In comparison, every time he leveled up, he would only have 20 health points, 5 attack points, and 3 magic attack points. It was too sad in comparison. However, there was one thing to note. The level up experience value went from 500 to 1500. Rising to level 3 actually required so much experience. Lorne could not help but wipe away his cold sweat. The experience points he had accumulated previously was 1715 points, but it could only raise the giant axe minotaur to level 2. It was only then that Lorne truly felt the pressure brought about by the level requirements of a high-level pet. This was only an elite pet, but it already needed so much experience. What would happen if it was a bronze or even higher boss? Lorne could not imagine. Fortunately, after seeing the powerful attributes of the pet again, the grudges in his heart disappeared. What should I name you? Lorne wanted to give it a domineering name, but he was bad at naming. He gave up after only three seconds. Your name is Minotaur 1. Go. Use your skill, powerful battle axe. With a wave of his arm, Lorne gave the order. Although the giant axe Minotaur's body was very small, its attributes were not inferior to a level 10 Minotaur. Moreover, it had an extremely powerful offensive skill. It was not a problem to fight alone. Slash. The huge axe slashed down. 
The sharp edge of the axe tore through the enemy minotaur's tough hide, slicing through its flesh and spilling hot blood. Minus 143. A monstrous damage number appeared. It was only a level 2 pet, but the axe in its hand dealt 143 damage to a level 10 monster. It was a startling sight. If other players saw this scene, their jaws would probably drop to the ground. Roar. Not to be outdone, the Minotaur retaliated with its skill. However, its damage was much worse than that of the giant axe Minotaur. It only dealt 71 damage. Lorne did not watch them fight. Now that there was an event going on, he had to hurry. It would be best if he could raise the pets by a few levels before returning to the village. As for more merging? He could not. This was because fusing such a pet required 500 bronze coins. He could not earn so much money in a short time. As time passed, powerful level 10 monsters died under the siege of the other two pets. The attacks of the giant axe minotaur were too powerful. With the help of the two-headed demon hound, the efficiency of killing was very high, and the EXP value was rising crazily. Half an hour later. An hour later. After farming for more than an hour, he looked at his bag. He had already collected 63 bull horns, which meant that he had killed 63 minotaurs and earned 3,300 experience points. In the meantime, Lorne used 3,600 experience points to level up the giant axe minotaur. The current minotaur one had already reached level 4. The upper limit of its attack was also 103 points. It was very domineering. As for the loot, Lorne obtained seven pieces of white iron and one bronze equipment. Wild Shoulder Guard. Grade, Bronze. Defense, plus seven. Constitution, plus two. Introduction, a wild hunter's armor that is stained with the blood of wild animals. The attributes of the equipment were not bad, and it could give Lorne some defense. There were also two white iron items that could be used. Lorne had already equipped them. Although the attributes did not increase much, to new players, no matter how little the attributes were, it was still better than nothing. After arranging his equipment, he opened the character interface. It seemed that he had not taken a close look at his attributes since leaving the village. ID, Tyrant. Class, Apprentice Summoner. Level, 10. Talent, Monster Merging Simulator. HP, 560-560. MP, 300-300. Magic Attack, 48-96. Physical Attack, 23-46. Magic Resistance, 14. Physical Resistance, 55. Speed, 27.2. Attributes, Constitution 55, Strength 5, Spirit 5, Intelligence 5, Agility 26. Free Attributes, 0. EXP, 915. Possession, 0 gold coin, 1 silver coin, 23 bronze coins. Pet Space. Vitality Slime Level 1, 0 slash 200. Two-Headed Demon Hound Level 1. 0 slash 300. Giant Axe Minotaur level 4, 0 slash 2400. These were Lorne's attributes. It could not be said to be very outstanding, it could only be considered mediocre. After all, his attribute points were, 3 constitution, 2 agility. On the other hand, the summoner's resistance and speed growth were not high, so his attributes seemed a little too ordinary. Fortunately, Lorne's pets were invincible. They were enough. After dealing with these things, Lorne looked at the live stream again and realized that the Slime King was killing crazily in the village. In order to seize the kill, the new players were using suicidal attacks to resist it. Under the crazy barrage, the Slime King's health had already decreased to about 10%. The gamers should have given up after more than an hour. After all, if they died like this, they would lose too many levels. But the problem was. None of them dared to give up. 
After failing the mission, everyone would receive a debuff. In the next six hours, their experience and income would decrease by half. Once this happened, everyone in beginner village number 2451 would advance slower than other villages. At that time, they would have even less hope in competing after reaching the main city. Therefore, those large guilds had no way out. They could only use the player's level to forcefully exchange for the Slime King's health and obtain victory regardless of the consequences. With that, Lorne hurried back to the village. In Divine Realm, the killing of the boss did not depend on the output, but on who could deal the final blow. Therefore, Lorne was determined to take down this boss. If someone fought over it, then, sorry, Lorne would not hesitate to slay him. Chapter 16 the stunned beautiful guild leader. By the time Lorne returned to the village, it was already in ruins. Dust billowed everywhere. The guards of the village took part in the battle. In the end, the corpses of the NPCs filled the entire village alley. One by one, Lorne looked over and finally saw the corpse of the missionary in the corner of the wall. The NPC who issued the mission was dead. Tisk. The death of an NPC meant that the mission could not be submitted. Naturally, he could not obtain the mission reward. Lorne could barely contain his emotions after seeing this. Fortunately, missionaries were functional NPCs of the village. Even if they died, they would be revived in the temple after 12 hours. In other words, he still had hope of obtaining the mission reward. However, he had to wait for 12 hours. With a heavy sigh, he headed toward the village square, where he saw the culprit of the missionary's death. It was a huge slime king. Its entire height was more than two meters. When it bounced on the ground, it covered a range of at least ten meters. Many players could not dodge in time and were eventually wrapped in liquid and suffocated to death. Instead of pushing his way through the hundreds of people, Lorne opened the forum and found a picture of the boss that someone had posted. Slime King. Grade, Special Boss. Level, 10. HP, 9551-100,000. Magic Attack, 240-320. Physical Defense, 130. Magic Defense, 100. Skills, Sticky Spray, Powered Jump. Skill, Healing. Absorb 25% of the damage and turn it into health points. Skill, Summoning of the King, summons 50 small slimes. Consuming one will recover 200 health points. If killed, the small slimes will explode and cause 100% magic damage to the target. Introduction, When it senses the appearance of powerful adventurers in the nearby villages, the Slime King will take the initiative to attack this village and kill all those who endanger its rule. It was no wonder they had to fight it for so long. When he saw the Slime King's skills, he knew why. First of all, healing was a skill that any slime would have. However, ordinary slimes would not absorb more than 5% of the damage. However, this powerful boss level slime could absorb 25% of the damage and turn it into health. Coupled with the ability to summon monsters to recover, it was harder to kill it. At this moment, hundreds of players were surrounding the boss and attacking it. Minus 53. Plus 38. Minus 33. Plus 37. Minus 200. Critical. Plus 75. Every time it was attacked, a green healing number would appear on the Slime King's body. Coupled with its high defense ability, its health points did not decrease much at all. There were even players with lower strength who attacked, causing it to recover its health points instead. This was because the current players were only level 6. The highest attack among them was only at 110 points. Moreover, in the high-intensity battle, many top players lost their levels, causing their attack power to decrease further. In this case, there was not much effective combat strength. Fortunately, there were NPCs around to help them. Those high-level players did not need to face the boss head-on, so the situation could be stabilized. Right now, 
the boss still had more than 9,000 health points, so Lorne was not in a hurry to act. Instead, he found a more suitable space to set up a stall to sell his equipment. After farming in the forest for so long, there were indeed a lot of equipment that needed to be dealt with. It just so happened that all the players were in the square now, so he even saved the money to advertise in the chat channel. What's going on? What's that guy thinking? Everyone's attacking the boss, but he's actually setting up a stall. Selling things in a place with such a large flow of people, he really has a talent for business. He knows he has no hope of killing the boss, so he does this instead. What a joke. What can a new player sell? He should be a rookie. In such a chaotic battlefield, everyone was abnormally nervous. However, at this moment, they discovered a player setting up a stall. This immediately caused the surrounding people to laugh. They did not think that a new player would have good items. Not far away, as the main combat force against the boss, the guild leader of Silver Snow Guild Twinkle Rose was commanding the guild's high-level players to attack the boss. However, at this moment, she saw a strange player in the corner of the city wall selling equipment. Was it him? Twinkle Rose's beautiful eyes quivered. That guy seemed to be the one she had seen in the alley. A special player with three mutated pets. With that in mind, Twinkle Rose could no longer remain calm, for she had sent people to search for the other party for a long time, but to no avail. Now that she had finally encountered a suspicious figure, she naturally had to go up and investigate. Twinkle Rose put away her thin sword and retreated from the center of the battlefield, walking towards the corner of the city wall. As she neared, she saw the equipment shimmering on the ground. Her beautiful pupils dilated as she opened her mouth. Even her breathing quickened. A glowing piece of equipment. It was bronze grade. Twinkle Rose looked at the various equipment on the ground and was even more shocked. Rock armor, bronze. Wave sword, bronze. Forest rope, white iron. Exquisite bracer, white iron. Crude warrior leg guard, white iron. The drop rate of equipment in Divine Realm was very low. This was a rule that every player knew. Not to mention bronze weapons, even white iron weapons were treasures that players needed to fight for. And in this stall, there were actually two bronze items and 17 white iron items. There was also a bronze grade long sword among them. This was the equipment that made the Twinkle Rose's heart beat faster. For a swordsman, a high grade battle sword was a treasure that could not be missed. Furthermore, they were currently attacking the boss. If she could equip this long sword with excellent attributes, the chances of snatching the boss's first kill would be higher. Twinkle Rose's chest pounded. She felt as if she was about to see her name appear on the system announcement. Taking a deep breath, Twinkle Rose calmed herself down. But at that moment, her gaze swept across the equipment level, and in the next second, she could not help but gasp. This is a level 10 equipment. Chapter 17, You're Overthinking It Looking at the level of the equipment in front of her, Twinkle Rose's eyes widened. She could not imagine how a new player could obtain such high-level equipment. The level of the equipment dropped would never surpass that of the monster. For example, a level 5 demonized wild boar would only drop equipment at or below level 5 after killing it. There would definitely not be any level 6 or higher equipment. Which meant. This player had once killed a level 10 monster before obtaining these items. But how could that be? I want all these equipment. How much? Twinkle Rose was filled with curiosity, but she was very rational. She did not ask recklessly, because everyone had their own secrets. If she asked rashly, it would only cause the other party to be disgusted. White iron equipment, 20 silver coins. Bronze equipment, 2 gold coins. Lorne stated his price, his eyes studying the other. She was indeed a perfect beauty. Her long red hair was tied up, and on her exquisite face, there was a pair of beautiful fiery red eyes. Her arrogant gaze was filled with admiration and surprise when she looked at Lorne. 
Under that rough light armor, there was a fiery figure. On her slim waist, there was a simple female-style sword and a slightly exquisite body shape. With such an attitude, she would not be inferior even to the most beautiful celebrity in reality. I want them all. It's a total of 7.4 gold coins. But I don't have that many game coins now, so I can only give you real money. But don't worry, the price I quote is the highest on the black market. 5,000 alliance dollars for one gold coin. Despite being stared at like this by Lorne, Twinkle Rose did not dodge at all. She spoke extremely confidently. As for the price, 37,000 alliance coins to purchase two bronze items and some white iron items was actually quite expensive. However, it could not be helped. If a guild wanted to gain an advantage in the early stages, they had to buy their equipment at a high price to compete for the game's dominance. However, at this moment, Lorne shook his head surprisingly, I'm sorry, but I only want in-game coins. Or, you can trade health potions for them. Only in-game coins? Twinkle Rose paused. She could not imagine why the other party wanted so many in-game coins. Did he have his own guild? Other than forces who needed to develop, other players would not give up the real-life currency that was five times as valuable and convert them into in-game coins. All right, I'll give you the game currency, but you have to wait for me 7.4 gold coins is not a small amount. Twinkle Rose said. At this moment, an inappropriate voice sounded. Brother, sell me these equipment. I'll pay 10 gold coins. The person who spoke was a warrior player in armor. There was an ID floating above his head, unparalleled domination. He was extremely arrogant and looked like an insolent rich second-generation heir. Seeing the other party approach, Twinkle Rose clearly turned cold. Unparalleled domination did not care at all. At this moment, he cared more about the equipment on the ground. Every piece of bronze equipment was a strategic resource. He could not let them fall into the hands of the enemy guilds. 10. Lorne was pleasantly surprised. The two guild leaders had taken a liking to these items at the same time. Now, it was a good opportunity for him to start a bidding war for them. With that in mind, Lorne put on a troubled expression, since you both want it, why don't we do it this way? The equipment will be given to the highest bidder. What do you say? You Twinkle Rose gritted her teeth. They had just agreed on the price, but this guy suddenly changed his mind. How detestable. The beautiful guild leader was very angry, but she quickly sighed to herself. She could not blame Lorne. After all, he had not agreed to sell it to her just now. If she really wanted to blame someone, she could only blame herself for not bringing enough gold coins. Otherwise, there would not have been so many troublesome matters. I offer eleven. Twinkle Rose bit her red lips. My domination guild offers twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. The two guild leaders opposed each other, neither willing to give up. In other games, the Domination Guild had a deep-rooted foundation. When faced with a new faction, they displayed their might very well. However, Twinkle Rose was not to be outdone. She did not have any fear of the guild and even pushed the price to 15 gold coins. When the price reached this level, unparalleled Domination did not continue bidding. It was only tens of thousands of alliance dollars, this was nothing to a large guild. However, they were still in the beginner village now. Gold coins were an extremely important resource. If they spent too much, it would severely affect the efficiency of the guild players leveling up. Thinking of this, unparalleled domination walked up. Brother, sell me your equipment. In the future, you will be a friend of the domination guild. In this game, no matter who you provoke, my guild will help you deal with them. But if you sell it to the Silver Snow Guild, you'll be our enemy. At that time, a million people will be your enemies. This game will probably not be playable for you. He stared at Lorne with a hint of threat in his tone. Don't be afraid of him. 
The ladies of the Silver Snow Guild can protect you in the future. Twinkle Rose immediately stood up. The two guild leaders were at odds with each other, as if they were about to fight at any moment. The onlookers sympathized with Lorne upon seeing this. Because no matter who he chose, he would offend another force. According to the style of large guilds, they might take revenge soon. At that time, he might not even have the chance to leave the beginner village. If he had to choose, that domination guild should be the best choice. Simply because the Silver Snow Guild was not so violent, they might not secretly take revenge on him. But the result was unexpected. Without hesitation, he said to Twinkle Rose, Ten gold coins and it'll be yours. Hearing this, Twinkle Rose raised her exquisite chin and revealed a victorious smile, Tyrant, it seems that you have good taste. Our Silver Snow Guild does have more potential than the Domination Guild. Choosing us to be partners is the best decision. You're overthinking it, Lorne cut off the oddly confident female guild leader. He had no idea why she was so confident but he answered, I sold it to you because you are bigger, but that doesn't mean we'll be partners. Don't think about it. Let's hurry up with the deal. At first, Twinkle Rose did not understand, but when she realized that he was referring to her huge breasts, her delicate face turned red. She gritted her teeth and cursed in her heart. Chapter 18, Lorne Attacks He had said those words because he had no choice. Lorne did not want to ally with anyone, and he did not want to cause trouble for the other party because of him, so he tried to pull their relationship further apart. However, he did not expect the beautiful guild leader to hate him now. Damn you, if not for the fact that you sold your equipment to me. I will definitely let you have a taste of being chopped into pieces. Twinkle Rose bit her lip and glared at him. However, despite being stared at, he did not feel any sense of danger. Instead, his eyes lit up as he studied her with interest. She was actually quite beautiful after all. At the same time, unparalleled domination stood at the side and looked at the two of them flirting, he was in an awkward situation. He had clearly said some harsh words earlier, but in the end, these two only knew how to exchange glances with each other and simply did not take him seriously. Unparalleled domination roared angrily, very good. Tyrant. The Silver Snow Guild as well. Be careful, I'll remember you. You'd better not be caught by me, or else I'll make sure you regret ever offending me. Have you watched too many anime shows? Lorne ignored him. He just did not think that anyone would say such an awkward thing in this day and age. What an incredible sight it was. Unparalleled Domination, who was about to leave, heard this and was so angry that his entire body trembled. He gnashed his teeth so hard that they almost shattered. If not for the fact that there was the Twinkle Rose beside him, he would have immediately turned around and torn that evil brat into pieces. On the other side, after receiving the gold coins, Twinkle Rose walked over and completed the transaction. Don't worry, tyrant. Although you're not a decent guy, this is a conflict caused by the Silver Snow Guild. The sisters in the guild and I will protect you from bullying. Or if you want, you can level up with us. How about it? Twinkle Rose looked confidently at Lorne, awaiting his answer. In her opinion, no one could reject this invitation, especially men. As she said this, Lorne was being watched enviously by everyone. Everyone present knew that the Silver Snow Guild was like heaven. Every member of it was a top-notch beauty. If they could fight monsters together, it would be the dreamiest thing in the world. However, Lorne looked exasperated. What did she mean by not a decent guy? I used to be a young master too. I don't need women's protection. Also, we only made a deal. Please don't have too many concerns, and don't covet my handsome looks. Lorne rejected the beautiful guild leader's invitation. He knew very well what this woman was thinking. Firstly, she stepped out of the battlefield and walked directly toward him, proving that she had already noticed him. Secondly, she definitely had a reason for inviting him to form a team with her. Most likely, 
she wanted to figure out his background through forming a team, and a small probability was to rope him in through forming a team. But whatever the reason, Lorne did not want to fall for her tricks. In short, having no contact and acting alone was the best way to do things. Tisk. Who is coveting your looks? How shameless, how narcissistic. Twinkle Rose bit her lip and looked angry. However, before she left, she still threw something at Lorne. If you have equipment for sale in the future, just let me know. With that, the beautiful guild leader entered the battlefield again. Lorne looked at the potion in his hand and discovered that it was a high-quality tool. Before the deal, he had mentioned that she could use recovery potions to exchange. However, he did not expect this beautiful guild leader to really have one. Furthermore, she gave it to him for free. Alchemy Potion Quality, high. Effect 1, after using it, the target will recover 500 HP and 500 MP. Effect 2, damage reduction of 10%. Duration, 5 seconds. Seeing the effect, Lorne was pleasantly surprised, this was the potion he was thinking of. It provided health and mana. If he used this potion to fuse with the slime, he would be able to obtain a moving supply station. His ability to do prolonged battles in the wilderness would be greatly improved, and he could even be said to have unlimited resources. Just thinking about it made him excited. Very good. I have gold coins and the potion with me now. I'm just short of a good slime. Lorne looked at the center of the battle, at the Slime King, who was slaughtering. Indeed. That was his goal. As a boss-level monster, the merging definitely required a large amount of gold coins. It was also because of this that Lorne did not want real currency earlier. Closing his stall, Lorne squeezed into the crowd. After an intense battle, the Slime King's health had fallen to less than 6,000 points under the frenzied attacks of the players. It was almost below 5%. Seeing this health bar, all the players went crazy. The boss was already at the final juncture. As long as they could snatch the final blow, they would obtain a huge amount of experience points and rewards. Moreover, this was the first event boss in the entire server. The rewards would definitely be extremely high. Countless players who were watching joined the battle and attacked the boss crazily. But at that moment, the players of large guilds who were originally at the center of the battlefield tacitly stopped attacking the boss and started to turn their blades towards the rogue players. Instantly, countless screams sounded. Starting from the areas occupied by several large guilds, all the rogue and small guild members suffered a terrible blow. Although there were more rogue players, they only wanted to protect themselves. They did not want to organize a resistance. In the end, the battlefield was completely occupied by large guilds. About seven or eight forces surrounded the boss, among them were the Silver Snow Guild and the Domination Guild that Lorne had just met. Although there were many beginner villages in the game Divine Realm, in this beginner village, a few famous guilds still gathered in groups of 200 to 300 people. There were more than a thousand people in these guilds in total. But they fought no more. It was as if all of them had agreed to it. At this moment, they were all targeting the boss, but they did not use their full strength. Although the boss health was less than 6,000, it would take them at least 10 minutes to deplete it. Therefore, the guild players were still calm and attacking rhythmically. The Slime King's health also slowly decreased. 5,400 5,300 5,200 5,100 the Slime King's health decreased gradually and was about to reach 5% of its health. At this moment, in a corner that no one was paying attention to, Lorne held his short staff and activated the pet summoning skill. After the magic circle flashed, a wild-looking creature appeared in the square. Chapter 19, Merge Slime King, Alchemy What's that? When the magic circle appeared, the surrounding players noticed it. They had seen magic circles before. However, the strange thing was that the summoning formation was so huge that even the runes on it were abnormally complicated. 
It was obvious that this was a powerful magic circle. Look. There's something inside. Is this summoning magic? That's not right. How can there be such a summoning formation? But it is summoning a monster, look. Is that a bull head? More and more players looked over. Under the brilliant light of the magic circle, a huge ball of light appeared. It gradually formed the shape of a monster, especially the bull horns on its head, they were very conspicuous. Under the watchful eyes of the crowd, the light of the magic circle dissipated, and a huge bull-headed monster appeared. In its hand was a huge battle axe. It was two meters tall and its entire body was filled with strong muscles. The savage aura attacked the senses of the surrounding players. At this moment, everyone's attention was attracted by the giant axe minotaur. However, no one noticed that a player with a short staff had already crossed the defense circle and walked towards the center of the battlefield. That guy over there, get lost. In the core battleground, a player discovered Lorne and shouted at him while waving his sword. But before he could say more, a savage figure rushed to him. Then, the huge axe chopped down. Slash. Minus 163. Minus 219. As soon as the player shouted, two damage values popped up above his head. He turned into white light and flew back to the resurrection point. Damn you! How dare you kill my brother! You're courting death! Another warrior player from the same guild let out a roar when he saw his teammate being killed. He raised his sword and charged at Lorne. But before he could run, a huge axe fell. The mission that Lorne gave the giant axe minotaur was to attract the attention of other players. It was allowed to cause a scene. Therefore, Minotaur 1 went all out. After killing the first player, it rushed into the enemy's camp and began a mad slaughter. Upon seeing this, the surrounding players widened their eyes. No one could have imagined that this Minotaur was not a new boss that appeared. It was the pet of a player. Moreover, the damage of the attack was extremely terrifying. With one swing of the axe, it actually dealt 219 points of damage killing a level 6 high-level player with one strike. At this moment, several guilds in the battle circle also noticed this. Unparalleled Domination's eyelids twitched. It had only been 10 hours since the game started. How did that player summon such a terrifying pet and deal 219 points of damage? Was he using a cheat? He could not accept this result. After all, the pets summoned by the current summoners were all slimes. No one had summoned other pets, let alone such a terrifying minotaur. Go take a look. Which guild is the summoner from? Unparalleled Domination wanted to rope him in to join the guild and provide them with greater battle strength. But a lackey soon recognized him, boss, that looks like the kid who sold the equipment. Hearing this, Unparalleled Domination was furious. So it's that little scoundrel. Boss, I'll bring people to kill him now. No, let him pass. Seeing that his subordinate was murderous, the corners of his mouth curled up into a smile. He looked confident and did not have any intention of killing Lorne. Now was not the time. Since that kid wanted to kill the boss, he would let him go. First, he would deplete the boss's health points. At the last critical moment, he would let the guild members kill him and rob him of everything. This way, he could reduce the losses of the guild and also peer into his strength. It was killing two birds with one stone. Why not? The higher UPS of the other guilds thought the same. This was just a summoner. No matter how powerful he was, there was still a limit. Furthermore, in the beginner village, all the players were only level 10 at max. How could a level 10 summoner kill a recovery type boss with 5000 health points? In the guild camp, Twinkle Rose bit her red lips and started to persuade Lorne, Tyrant, don't go over. Although you have some strength, this boss's recovery ability is too strong. Even we need 10 minutes to lower its health. It had to be said that the beautiful guild leader's character was really good. Unfortunately, she was still too naive. 
It would take ten minutes for the thousand of you to end the battle, but it did not mean that it would take ten minutes for him alone, right? Ignoring Twinkle Rose's advice, Lorne entered the most dangerous area of the battle. When he was close enough to the boss, he activated the skill. Ding! Monster Slime King has been confirmed as the prototype material. Please identify the other materials. Hearing the notification, Lorne took out the alchemy potion in his bag. Although this high-quality tool was not good enough for a boss-level monster, it was still better than the red potions. After all, this was a beginner village. It was really too difficult to obtain even better potions. Ding! A prototype monster and a body part material have been identified. The synthesis formula is, Slime King, plus, Alchemy Potion, equals. The cost is 5 gold coins. Would you like to merge? As expected of a boss level monster, just the cost of fusing was so high. As usual, the higher the cost, the greater the strength. Now was not the time to be concerned about the gold coins. Without any hesitation, Lorne chose to merge them. Perhaps because the Slime King was a powerful boss level monster, when Lorne chose to fuse it, an incomparably huge magic formation immediately appeared, covering an area of more than a hundred yards. The Slime King's entire body turned into light, intertwining with the light formed by the alchemy potion. But this time, something was different. This time, the slime's size actually shrank. In the end, it was condensed to a size smaller than an ordinary slime. At this moment, a pleasant reminder sounded. Ding! Merging successful. Congratulations on obtaining the bronze boss level monster Slime King, Alchemy. Chapter 20, Shocking the World, A Massive Reward. At this moment, in the square of the beginner village, all the players were watching the situation in the center of the battlefield. They were all curious about how powerful the special summoner who could summon the bull-headed monster was. Of course, they did not think that he could slay the boss. After all, it had 5,000 health points. Even if a thousand players surrounded it, they would need to attack for 10 minutes to kill it. And just when no one thought highly of Lorne, a huge magic circle suddenly appeared. A huge array with complicated runes and an incomparably grand light completely enveloped the summoner and the slime king. What happened? Heavens! Why is there such a huge magic circle? What did that summoner do? No one could see what was happening inside, they were all speculating. But at that moment, a scarlet banner suddenly appeared above everyone's view. Ding! Congratulations player tyrant, you have successfully killed the event boss, the Slime King, in beginner village number 2451. You have done a great deed and are now in the annals of history. Congratulations player tyrant, you have received the first kill achievement reward, plus 10,000 EXP, plus 2,000 reputation points, plus 10 gold coins, silver treasure chest X1, bronze treasure chest X5, Attribute points x20, plus 2 luck. Ding. Ding. The announcement was repeated two more times. And then. All the players in beginner village number 2451 received a new announcement. Ding. Congratulations to all players of beginner village number 2451. You have successfully completed the event mission protecting the village. Score. A. Congratulations to all players who belong to Beginner Village number 2451. Reward plus 500 EXP, plus 50 reputation points, plus 1 silver coin, white iron treasure chest X1, attribute points X1. Ding. Ding. The Beginner Village announcement was played three times as well. At the same time, all the Beginner Villages in the world were in an uproar. Who is Tyrant? Is he a top player from some guild? My goodness! This reward is so tempting. I envy the players in Beginner Village number 2451. They got a white iron treasure chest and one attribute point for nothing. Gosh! 
This event needs to be triggered by a level 10 player. The highest level player here is only level 7. The players of beginner village number 2451 are going to grow rapidly now. Beginner village number 2451. In the square, due to the death of the boss, everyone received the system reward. The rogue players in the outer circle were very happy, because this reward was basically given to them for nothing. However, the higher UPS of the large guilds were all stunned on the spot. A few seconds ago, the lively boss with 5000 health points was in front of everyone. However, a few seconds later, the boss suddenly died. They did not even see how the boss died. Boss. We've struck it rich. Everyone in the guild has obtained a white iron treasure chest, and there's also one attribute point, some EXP and reputation points. Now, our domination guild is going to rise up. A lackey received the reward and excitedly reported to Unparalleled Domination. Rise in your dreams. Unparalleled Domination was furious. He directly pulled out the long sword at his waist and slashed at the head of this underling. Rise up. Rise up his ass. The members of the Domination Guild only received a small reward. The real reward was taken away by that accursed summoner. Whether it was the reward for the first clear or the equipment dropped by the boss, they were the most, most, most precious treasures. Any single one of the rewards could cause a commotion in the beginner village. Furthermore, that guy was with Twinkle Rose. If he sold the equipment to the Silver Snowflake Guild, then the life of the Domination Guild would be very tough, and they might even be suppressed. Not to mention other things, just the resource-rich training grounds around the main city were not something their Domination Guild could fight for. The scene focused on the center of the square. The light had not dissipated yet. Lorne stood in the center, listening to system notifications one after another. He did not expect to receive the system reward after he synthesized the boss. Not only that, but the reward this time was extremely astonishing. After calculating all the rewards, just the experience points alone reached 28,000. With so much experience, it could directly allow a level 1 player to raise their level to level 10. Furthermore, they would still have more than 10,000 experience points left. However, he was already level 10 and could not level up again. Therefore, these experience points were all left for the pets. Then, there were reputation points. This was a setting in the later stages of the game. There was no use for it now, but when the time comes, high reputation points would lead to a surprise. Gold coins were next. 10 gold coins was equivalent to 50,000 alliance dollars in reality. To someone in debt, it was a generous amount. Then, there were the treasure chests. There was nothing to say about the bronze chests. The silver treasure chest was what Lorne was most looking forward to. He opened it directly. Ding! Unlocking the silver treasure chest. Obtained, Sage's short staff, silver. Sage's short staff, Sage set, 1 slash 7. Quality, silver. Magic attack, plus 110. Intelligence, plus 20. Spirit, plus 15. Type, Weapon. Level Requirement, 10. Additional Effect, Cast Range plus 20%. Additional Effect, Increases Magic Resistance by 10%. Introduction, A Short Staff Enhanced by a Sage. It can be of great help to the user. Seeing the effects of this equipment, Lorne was shocked. An overall increase of 170 Magic Attack. This attribute was very violent. In addition, there was still the 20% increase in casting distance. It could allow him to attack at a longer range. In the future, when he fought, he could stay further away from the enemy. But that was not the most important part. To his surprise, it was a set item. Seven pieces of equipment as a set was the rarest and most precious among the types of sets. However, the effect of the set was hidden. It would only be activated after a second piece of equipment dropped. 
Lorne did not hesitate as he first replaced the staff. With one of the set items equipped, he could naturally drop other parts when killing monsters in the future. After dealing with the treasure chest, only the point of luck was worth mentioning. However, before he could check the effect, a ball of red mucus on the ground jumped onto his shoulder. Looking at the protesting little guy, Lorne did not know whether to laugh or cry. His greatest gain was this pet, how could he have forgotten about it? Was he suffering from dementia at such a young age? He touched the slime and opened its attributes panel. The next second, Lorne was stunned. 